Tui989 asks, How do I get my sister to stop dating jerks and finally date a good guy? Oh, take her to church. She's dating jerks. She's supposed to be dating good guys. Do their parents know about this? I am a kid. Dating is not really my specialty. Maybe you and your sister don't agree on what a jerk is and what a good guy is. You can't stop her from doing that. Right now, I'm pretty sure she's in the phase where she's into, like, bad boys. Show her, like, any Disney movie. Like, <laughs> where there are, where there's a love story. Tell your sister to hang out with um, a better crowd. That's like a deep one. I can't really make like a joke about that. Like, have a serious talk with your sister. Be like, yo, the guys you're dating are dicks. Instill good values on your sister. The reason why she's dating jerks is because she's looking for something that she hasn't found in her life. You could show her the right way to treat a woman by how you treat your girlfriends. You could call up a good guy you know and then just have him come over to the house and maybe like talk with the jerk boyfriend on the side and just get the good guy and your sister to start talking and hopefully they'll hit it off. Alexis Williams. How can we get Miley Cyrus to keep her clothes on? The world may never know. No idea. I never even saw half her clothes off. I'd say let it all out. I I disagree with you. I like Miley Cyrus with her clothes off. That's what makes her Miley Cyrus, so I hope she keeps her clothes off. I actually think it's too late to try that. I think she's been without her clothes for long enough. It's kind of impossible at this point, but if you want to relive the days when she was fully clothed, there's always Hannah Montana. Super glue. Super glue is the answer to that one. It's the only thing I think that will work. I have not seen Miley Cyrus without her clothes on, and I don't want to. Show her people who started off as good people but are now, like, drug addicts or something and tell her that you don't want her to end up that way. <laughs> She's so used to doing it that uh, I think it, she'd have to go to like rehab to make her think a different way. This sounds like me when I was a baby. You have to put on pants sooner or later. Tweet her and be like, girl, you need to cover that stuff up. Send her emails, make the suggestions. Tell her that you prefer to see her with her clothes on. Ask her to keep her clothes on. May you please keep her clothing on instead of taking them often being a free spirit. Keep your clothes on. Nobody wants to see your bajanga. That's a very hard question, because you know my Cyrus. Wacko. Divio, I'm not gonna pronounce this right. Okay, asked Valderson. Say that when you're drunk a couple of times. How do you know it's time to leave the internet? Well, your eyes get blinded. When you can't keep your eyes open anymore, you probably should go to sleep and then leave the internet. When you started in the morning, and it's already night. Pretty much when your parents say, get to bed! If you've been on it all day, and your parents starting to complain, and you're not doing your homework. When you're procrastinating and you see homework and you need to do it. You know it's time to go when you just start typing random things into the search box. The way it happens for me is I get into like the deep YouTube or the deep web and just the stuff where you're like, what the, f what am I watching? When you're at the weird part of YouTube and you're like watching like popping pimple videos, that, I think that's when you should leave. I really don't know why you'd want to leave the internet at this point. Otherwise, what are you gonna do all day? That's easy, you don't leave the internet. No one leaves the internet. You stay on it for as long as possible until your computer dies and you can't find the charger. As soon as you find the charger, go immediately back on because you will have withdrawals. It's bad. Crafty Panda. What do I do if my friend doesn't like Star Wars? Just shoot him. You don't need that kind of negativity in your life. He's not your friend. I'm pretty sure he's not your friend then. Just leave him. You need new friends, all right? There's no alternative. Do you like Star Wars? Uh, duh. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Maybe you could do something else with your friend. If your friend doesn't like Star Wars, find a, find a film or game that you both like and enjoy that with that friend. You just try to get them into Star Wars? I think the most obvious answer is to show them Star Wars. Blindfold them, take them downstairs, put on the movie, and then tape them to the couch. You try to take him to see it again, explain to him what you like, you like about it. Take him to all the movies, do a marathon with him, and then by the time it's over with, he'll love it. Take him or her on the ride at Disneyland. Oh, and then he or she will want to start watching it. Yeah. Solace and Bane asks, How does one get over an existential crisis? What on earth does that even mean? Am I supposed to know this by now? First, I want to know what that big word that starts with an E means, 
and how to pronounce it? I would just go to the internet and Google it. It's the only, only, only solution. That's like hard to do. I, I have those a lot. I put on the TV and just go brain dead for a while, watch Adventure Time. You might want to stop reading all those angsty posts on Tumblr. You might want to log off of the internet for a few days. You should go to an amusement park and you'll feel like, oh, now I've had a great time and life does have a meaning. Work it out with yourself and the peers around you because then maybe you'll overcome what is going on. Take advice from other people, feel better, perhaps sleep more, eat more. Do stuff that makes you feel wanted. Yeah, find purpose by getting up every day and doing what you have to do, whether it's go to school, whether it's have a job. You're worth something. It's something in the world, but I know you're worth something. Everybody, everybody's worth something. I know that in my heart. Thanks for watching Advice on the React channel. Subscribe, we have new shows for you every week. We're here to help you, so leave your questions in the comments. Later, guys. Bye. Miley, keep your clothes on. Well, at least some of them.